So my parents have been really supportive. Uh, they always you know, told me I could be whatever I want to be and do whatever I want to do. Uh, my mom is an accountant, so when we were younger, she taught us math, and my dad was an engineer in college, and so he also introduced me to what engineering actually was, because until you know, probably my senior year of high school, I had no idea what engineering meant or what it, what it was or why anyone would study it. And so um, just knowing that there was an engineer or explaining to me what it meant was really important to me. My immediate goal for the future is to build a successful company and to uh, lead technology development in an area that has enormous potential to save energy and uh, resources in the world. I care a lot about the big picture goal, the mission of providing uh, clean drinking water to people, the goal of environmental sustainability and getting energy from sustainable sources. And even though my day-to-day -day work is a lot smaller than that, it's all working towards that bigger mission. And that's what, you know, keeps me up at night, you know, thinking about the problems and gets me up in the morning to make me excited to get to work. Um, and it's really because it matters to a lot of people and it matters, you know, not just to me and my family, but to all the families kind of around the world in different ways. There are a lot of things I'm afraid of. Uh, one of the hardest parts for me about my academic career was taking a set of exams during my PhD. Um, and until then, I'd been kind of a pretty decent test taker and that wasn't something that usually stressed me out. Uh, but these exams basically meant I could either stay in school or I had to leave. And it was just a one week uh, length thing of exams. Um, and uh, the exams were oral, so I had to solve problems in front of a panel of professors, so I was very intimidated by doing that. Um, I had to present my research and prove that it was worth it for me to stay, and I had to know pretty much everything there was to know in mechanical engineering, just for, you know, just for a week, but I had to know it all for that week. Uh, what I did to kind of address that fear, uh, address that stress or that fear, was studied really hard. I set a schedule, I followed the schedule, I showed up and I said, you know what, I've done all the work I can, I'm doing the best thing I can right now and we'll see what happens and we'll go from there and we'll deal with the consequences after. So for me, I think the most important thing is being the most prepared and the most on top of it that I can be and the rest of the world, I can't control it and so I just have to let it do its own thing and I can deal with the consequences from there.